Hey everyone, Jagtagger93 here with another Doomwad review. This one is called Night Wedding by Hans George Campbell. Came out May 2018, so this year, this month. Uh, overall, it's a so-so uh, map, and let's get into it. It looks pretty good for what it is. It's a realism map. Uh, the theme is a church at night, and there's a wedding happening, hence the name Night Wedding. And there's really just enough here to deliver on the theme of that wedding happening. Uh, enemies are placed appropriately, with two imps down the aisle, both facing a baron of hell, whom we can imagine is the priest overseeing the events. Uh, more monsters uh, line up the pews, and there are plenty more baddies uh, throughout the church, and there's quite a few more over in the uh, graveyard as well, so um, pretty neat enemy placement here. The enemies were definitely placed with the environment in mind and theme in mind. Uh, a few of the enemies are being specific to certain areas. So, for example, uh, you have specters over in the uh, graveyard, actually, as would be appropriate. Also, there's a long hallway lined with these uh, portraits of skulls. And, of course, as you walk down the hallway, you're bombarded with an ambush uh, by lost souls flying about. So, that was really cool as well. Now... So the map mostly succeeds with regards to immersion, uh, mostly. However, the scale of the map is a bit wonky, it's a bit off. Uh, everything is much too big. Uh, the rooms are much too big, the furniture is much too big, the doorways are much too big. And yeah, that kind of hurts the immersion a little bit. Um, that's something I would expect to see from a WAD in the 90s, not in 2018. Um, so that's kind of you know, disappointing. Also, uh, it being a church, I was really hoping to have some other areas to explore, maybe like a bell tower or basement catacombs, uh, something to expand upon the theme a bit more. Uh, but no, this map is very, very simply laid out, actually. Uh, you got your church, which is a few large rooms, boneyard, and in the boneyard there's a mausoleum, which has the final fight, and that's about it. The attention to detail in this map is also, unfortunately, very inconsistent. Some areas are very nicely detailed. Uh, some areas make very good use of the statues and windows from the Heretic uh, game, while other areas are much more barren in appearance. This is especially true of the secret areas. Now, the secret areas are pretty easy to find given the very small scale of the map, and you can find some pretty nice things in them, like a Megasphere, and even a plasma rifle. Unfortunately, there's hardly any details to these areas. They're extremely plain, extremely dull, and that's unfortunate. I always love um, being rewarded with finding a secret, with seeing something new, something unique, something different. So something that cool would have been, in my opinion, that you know the author could have done was uh, maybe have one of the secret uh, hallways lead to a uh, a hidden room, and in the hidden room there's more you know pentagrams and satanic imagery and even a portal or a teleporter or something to you know give the idea that uh, the reason why all these demons are in this church is because whoever was running the church you know the priest or whatever was up to doing no good uh, by the by the moonlight and all hell broke loose I don't know I, just a little just a little something uh, instead we just see a bunch of plain stone walls adorned by the occasional torch and that's really about it in the uh, secret rooms. Now, the enemy placement, for the most part, like I said, is pretty good. Uh, the one sour note... Well, actually, there's two. The two sour notes in this map are the Baron of Hell up front, acting as the priest. Uh, thematically, that works. Just he's on, like, a raised platform, so fighting him almost feels unfair. He can't really get us uh, all that well. His fireballs just hit the platform right in front of him, so that, that was kind of silly. Also, at the very end, uh, you come to a mausoleum in the uh, graveyard, and out comes a cyber demon from it. Now, there's a portal in the uh, mausoleum, so I guess that kind of makes sense, but still, seeing a mausoleum in a boneyard, I'm expecting something a little more appropriate thematically, something like um, an arch file, or a whole bunch of undead uh, humans, you know, a bunch of zombie marines, or, you know, what's in a mausoleum? Oh, bodies, bones, so why not a couple revenants right there? But, no, Cyber Demon. It just... I, I feel like the author felt like they needed to end on something big, and yeah, no nothing's much bigger than a Cyber Demon. 
Um, the Cyber Demon fight isn't that hard though at all, which it's not a good or bad thing, I suppose. It wasn't really that challenging because you're given so much room in this map. In fact, the uh, difficulty of the map is pretty low. Um, and it's not because of an overabundance of weapons or uh, too few enemies, really. It's just, again, the size and the scale of the map. Not only does it hurt the immersion a little bit, but also hurts the gameplay as well, too. If you give the player too much room to move, it's very easy just to, well, move. Circle strafe around and around large pockets of enemies and if you've got the ammo, it just keeps spraying. And uh, that's not very enticing gameplay or a good way to use the environment to create uh, good firefights. So, to wrap up, uh, Night Wedding is pretty fun. Um, if you like your maps with theme in mind, if you like realism maps like I do, you'll enjoy this. Um, it managed to do just enough to not be completely mediocre. So that's not great praise, but it's not terrible praise, I know. The map succeeds in presenting a church and churchyard, but it doesn't really go beyond that. It's very simple. Uh, it's also very short as well. Uh, for those reasons, I would usually give it a 5 out of 10, if it wasn't for the really good rendition of uh, Billy Idol's White Wedding playing in the background. You get it, because it's a night wedding, or white wedding, yeah. So for that, 6 out of 10. Alright, and that is it. Thank you all for watching. This is Jag Tagger 93 signing out. You have a good one.